guest, and I'm here to talk today about Old Blue. Uh, my one owner, 1966 Corvette convertible. Tell you a little bit about when I got it, how I got it, and why I've kept it for almost 50 years. I bought this car in October 1965. In 1964-65, I was in the Air Force in Labrador. I didn't know where Labrador was until the Air Force gave me a chance to find out. In Labrador, I didn't need a car, and I didn't need any money. So while I was there, I'd sold my car before I went up there, so I said, I'll just save a little money and buy a Corvette when I get out of here. So when I got out in October of 1965, I was supposed to pick up my car in Detroit at a dealer called Shore Chevrolet. Unfortunately for me, GM went on strike that year, and so they stopped production. The car was made in St. Louis, Missouri in September. It was a 227th car made uh, for the 1966 series, and the paint color, trophy blue, was a one-year color. After picking the car up, I drove to California in Old Blue, and it has not been out of the state since then. About the most exciting thing it did was it was in the San Diego State Homecoming Parade in 1965 with a couple beautiful women sitting on the side. I have a matching hardtop and bright blue interior. The bright blue interior is uh, number 414 for those that care. It's a 300 horsepower power steering car, uh, excellent driver. The engine, transmission, and everything's been all completely restored and gone through and put back to original spec. Using the car for car shows and a couple other events while we were building some pedigree on it, it was top flight awarded. 300 horsepower is, as far as I'm concerned, are a great driver. If you're looking for something that's not going to be a barn burner, but be, just be a nice driver that you can take to the store and for a nice Saturday, Sunday afternoon cruise with the wife, just a great drive and running vehicle. It doesn't have the big cam overlap, so it doesn't have the tendency to stall at idle and run hot and choke out on you like some of the bigger horsepower cars do. It does have the original springs on the back end of it, and there's testimony to how good this car has been kept because it didn't even wear out a set of rear springs on the car. Fortunately for me, they delivered two cars to the dealer. One was a coupe, and one was the convertible you see behind me. It didn't have some of the options that I'd requested, but I was more than happy to have it after being in Labrador for a year with nothing. So I've uh, been very good friends with Old Blue since then. I'd not planned on keeping the car for almost 50 years, so I got it painted, and that was in 1975. At that same time, I also purchased a hardtop and had it painted to match the car. For the most part, it's been a hanger queen for the last 45 plus years. The odometer, I have the original odometer, and it broke at 76,000 miles, and that was in 1970. The present mileage of 11,500 accurately reflects how many miles it's been driven in the last 45 years. So you can see it's been kind of a hanger queen for most of that time. The original California license plates were stolen and so the plates that you see on it aren't the originals. In 1963, I graduated from San Diego State College and one of my fraternity brother's dad had a new Corvette, which I was quite taken by. Uh, as a new college graduate, that's about all I was because I didn't have any money. But I must admit that when you buy a brand new Corvette for $4,200, you've got a real motivation to save some money. 
and the sticker on it was 47, which I thought was really pretty out of sight, but it turned out I ended up paying 4200 to good old Shore Chevrolet in Detroit. Uh, one of the things I'm quite proud of is I have every registration that this car ever had, so I can kind of go through my registrations from 1965 to 2014 and find out where I've lived the last almost 50 years. So again, any of the authentication uh, that you would expect to have, I've gotten probably more. Old Blue uh, had an on-frame restoration completed in September of 2011. The following year, in 2012, I took Gold Blue over to be uh, certified by NCRS and was happy to find that she was uh, rated as a uh, top flight winner. And I have all the paperwork on that for anybody that needs to take a look at it.